Welcome everyone and thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium video. Today we're going to check out a really cool model in 1 to 64 scale. This is the Diecast Promotions TTM Red Peterbilt 389 midroof sleeper truck with a JNL pneumatic vac tanker trailer. Uh, as you can see, very detailed overall first impressions are that this is a top quality model in 1 to 64 scale. So let's take a look at this. We'll take a look at it in two parts. We'll take a look at the trailer and uh, we will also take a look at the truck. So, starting off, let's go ahead and take a look at the truck itself. One thing that Diecast Promotions often does, which I really appreciate and uh, I think adds a lot to it, if you look at the fifth wheel, you'll notice that it has a chrome cover. If you choose to display the show truck like this without a trailer, you can put the fifth wheel cover on it just like that. Just another uh, display pose opportunity that's really added to the truck and I quite frankly think it looks really really good plus it's chrome and let's be honest who doesn't like chrome so you can have that on there and it really matches up well with the fender fender wells the mud flaps the straight pipes etc so this is a sleeper cab obviously so it's a bit of a bigger truck the hood does open to reveal a nicely detailed engine inside with a whole bunch of different components on top you can see the uh, air horns, lights, everything looks great. Probably my favorite detail on this truck and the trailer, which you'll see here in a minute. I want to direct your attention to the, uh, the tire themselves, the actual uh, tire walls. You can see that there's branding on them. In this case, it's Firestone. Why more models don't do this, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I, I assume it has something to do with licensing, and with licensing comes more money, and obviously that would increase the cost of the model. Uh, but I think it adds so much realism to it that in my opinion, and you guys can let me know below if you disagree, but in my opinion, I would pay a little bit extra to add that little bit of realism. I love the fact that we have name brands on uh, tires like you would see on a real truck. Personally, to me, that's worth it. But uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think below. If you would pay a little bit extra to see uh, another licensing name, on tires, or uh, if you would just prefer that they be black. Underneath, a pretty detailed chassis, actually. You can see the uh, engine and transmission underneath, the tanks, the exhausts, a little bit of your uh, drive shaft, your transmission. Pretty nice. The wheels do have really good tread pattern on them as well. Now, this particular DCP truck, which is unusual for at least the ones that I have and I've reviewed, there's no steering. Um, not quite sure why that's the case, but I wanted to make sure that I noted that. The front, typical Peterbilt grill, looks really good. It is embossed in the front, which is difficult to see on camera, but it is there. It looks quite good. And on the passenger side, pretty much the same. Looking from the rear, we can see you have your coiled lines in three different colors. And uh, some nice Peterbilt branded mud flaps there, which look great. So there is the truck. Let's move on to the pneumatic vac tanker. So this type of trailer for dry bulk um, needs and products. So I'm not sure how much you guys are familiar with this trailer. But for example, it would haul like things like cement or sand. But it even can haul flour, sugar, animal feed, whole kinds of all, all kinds of different things. And basically, your product is loaded from the top through uh, these, which I believe are called manholes. These obviously come off, and it would be top-loaded, as they say. And it would come out through these hoppers at the bottom when the vehicle arrives at its destination. So underneath, some good detailing. The uh, jack stands do screw down, so you can pose the trailer by itself. And it will sit nice and even, just like I have it. If you want to pose it um, with the truck, obviously all you have to do is just screw those jacks back up. Great warning labels all throughout. Great lights, great DOT striping, and again, your Firestone logos on the tires. Tons of detail on this trailer. Back you can see ladder right here. Some more lights, some DOT striping. Uh, more warning lights, or excuse me, warning labels. This truck is beautiful, guys. 
it looks incredibly awesome in this chrome finish and with all this detail on it. Again, DOT striping on this side, some more lights, uh, some more detailing with pipes and that kind of thing. And the front of the trailer, you have a hose right here, which is actually rubber. And uh, some more warning, small warning graphic labels there as well. So overall, this uh, Peterbilt 389 and this pneumatic vac tanker made by Diecast Promotions in 1 to 50 scale, or excuse me, 1 to 64 scale, is a beautiful, beautiful truck. So if you collect trucks in this scale, I would recommend picking this up. You can get this and uh, any other 164 scale items that you see at this channel at BurnettFarmToys.com. A link will be in the description, so be sure to check them out. Uh, these trucks are not cheap, but I believe they're well worth the money. Again, I kind of want to know what you guys feel about uh, if you would pay a little bit more for more detail, or if you think that already the price point is good and we'll just you don't really want to see any more price increase there. Uh, it does come in your standard DCP black clear window box. There's no change there. Uh, you've seen that many times on this channel. But overall, this truck is really fantastic. And uh, if you're a fan of Peterbilt's uh, or 164 scale trucks, definitely pick this one up. I really think the uh, dry bulk uh, pneumatic vac tanker is really, really cool as well. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or concerns or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, be safe, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.